We are joined by emergency room Dr. Paul Casey with Bell & Health uh, to share more information on this coronavirus. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. You're quite welcome. First of all, let's start with the symptoms of the coronavirus. So coronavirus presents with symptoms very similar to the common cold or the flu. Fever, cough, shortness of breath. Those are the main symptoms of the coronavirus. So we've heard it a thousand times, but now from the expert, what are the precautions that we should be taking? So the precautions are exactly the same one should use to prevent influenza and the common cold. Number one, wash your hands. Wash your hands frequently. Um, coronavirus, like other viruses that cause upper respiratory infections, is transmitted by what we call droplet transmission. That means someone sneezes or coughs. The small particles of fluid containing the virus are transmitted. If you're within six feet of the, the, patient, the person who coughs, you can inhale the virus. The other way is those droplets are deposited on hard surfaces, doorknobs, rails on buses, that type thing. So that's the, uh, so when you touch that, you need to wash your hands as soon as possible. So we recommend people you, if they if you can't wash your hands frequently, carry some alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Um, th those are the two main things. Are, are there special at-risk groups? I know young parents worry about their children. Older parents worry about our parents. That's an interesting question. So unlike influenza, which affects both extremes of age, the novel coronavirus causes the illness called COVID-19. Right. And it tends to affect older people with other medical problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, dialysis, and especially people who are immune compromised. Children, luckily, seem to be spared. But it hits older people with other medical problems very hard. And when do you know you should go to the doctor? So we recommend that you call first because sure. uh, currently we have three documented cases, documented cases in Wisconsin, but we don't have any in this area. And so people who get sick now are probably going to have either influenza or one of the other viruses. And so um, once, and I, 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 I think it's not if it hits here, it's when. It's spreading rapidly across the United States, and we know it's probably going to hit here at some point. So when it does, we don't want people infected going to the emergency room and infecting the entire waiting room uh, uh, with the virus. So if you get sick and are worried about coronavirus, you need to contact your health care system. All the local health care systems have a phone line that uh, there's a trained nurse to help triage you, and we're hoping to do as many phone screenings or e-visits as we can when this finally hits. All right, good information. Thank you very much, Dr. Paul Casey from Bell & Health. Thank